happy Sunday, y'all. Sundays are pretty chill for me, unless I like make plans with a friend to meet up or something. Today I don't have any plans and I have to run to the store to grab a few items for the house. More so cleaning supplies that I forgot to get from Target the last two times I've gone. It's so annoying when you go to the store and you forget one thing, but that one thing is important. I tend to make lists, but I don't know why I didn't make a list yesterday. I'm gonna run to the store, grab those things, come back and kind of do a Sunday reset, if you will. Sunday reset, I don't know if it's necessary to reset. Just kind of like straighten up everything before the week gets started. I bought a TikTok shoulder massage thing and it wasn't bad, but I ended up returning it yesterday because my body is sore. But I also feel like there's only two settings to it. Didn't really do what I needed it to do. I should probably put some makeup on or do my eyebrows. But it's been really hot and humid outside. I have to take Kira out for a walk quite often. And I'm just sweating bullets every time I go outside. So I would much rather prefer not to put makeup on because it's gonna slide right off anyway. It's supposed to rain later around like two or three o'clock. I'd rather not be out and about when it's raining. So I think I'm gonna go run out now so that I can grab everything that I need and stay inside for the rest of the day. Part of me also wants to start a DIY project this week. My fireplace is shiplap and it's fine but it's this blue color which isn't bad with our neutral color scheme that we want to bring in and then incorporate pops of color and textures it's not the best i have some leftover paint from when i painted the kitchen cabinets and i might use that paint for this fireplace but i also really want a cement fireplace a faux cement one i just don't know if i'm ready to tackle on that big of a diy project a lot of the cement concrete fireplaces that i see are typically built from scratch or they're putting the cement over marble or the brick that they already have i think it's more difficult with the shiplap because i would have to tear down the shiplap and hope that the frame is well intact to then screw on the cement board or whatever it's called. I don't know. I've really been liking the black clay concrete fireplace too. Also really like this look too. It'll lighten up this space. I mean, the walls are already white. Some of the elements that we're probably going to bring in are like grays and blacks. I would like to keep things neutral. So like during the holidays, like Halloween, we can add pumpkins and Christmas. All that greenery will be really nice. Anyways, let me go head to the store in adults. Maybe I'll get some snacks. This week, I want to start my journey to wellness again. It's been a really long time since I've consistently worked out and been on a better nutrition plan. I do want to reset myself in a sense. This is just a week for resetting, you know. I do want to get started on things because 17 is going on tour we don't know when they said they're supposed to start in october i want to feel good in the outfits that i choose and i don't want to have to order a whole bunch of stuff online hoping and praying that it works out i kind of want to go to the mall and be like oh you know what let me get this and it fits and i can like go on about my day I just want to be in the best shape of my life, I guess, at this point. There's a couple of creators on TikTok that I follow that post like their free Pilates plans. And there's a three week plan. I've really been wanting to get into Pilates, but I don't necessarily want to spend the money on classes quite yet until I feel confident that this is something that I want to commit to. I would like to start journaling, so I should probably get like a small notebook or something. Do I have a small notebook? I might already have one that I can start. But you know how like when you journal, you just want like a cute, fresh journal? If I want to start this week, I should just start with what I have. And then once I finish the month out and I'm consistent, which I will be consistent, I'll get a new one. Okay, time to go to the store. <laughs>
because I've been craving pancakes for like the past week. I'm not sure if I want to make blueberry pancakes or like the cinnamon swirl I've been seeing on TikTok. This is a reminder for anyone who uses reusable bags to go put them back in your car because I always forget. And then when I'm at the store, I don't have a reusable bag and I gotta pay five cents for a paper bag that might rip. This is your reminder. Go put it back in your car. Before I start cooking, I think I'm going to start a load of laundry so by the time that's done, I should be done cooking, throw that load into the dryer, and then I can eat. Then I'll probably straighten up the house a little bit. It is about quarter to six, and the House of Dragon comes on for its season finale at nine. It gives me about three hours to kind of do what I need to do around the house. I really regret taking a two hour nap. Two? I think I slept from like 1 to 3. one thirty to 3? Dang, maybe it was a 3 hour nap. come into my office during the weekend unless I'm editing or just want to chill in here. It's been raining a couple days this week and the ceiling right above the kitchen sink was leaking. We were trying to figure out where the leak was but it's right above where the washing machine is and there was no signs of water leakage. I promise that I'm like it's got to be in the roof even though like it's a floor above where my office is. There's got to be a crack in the foundation somewhere where it like connects. As I'm doing my laundry right now, I'm hanging stuff up to dry instead of putting into the dryer. And I kid you not, there's dirty water droplets all over my shelf and my albums. And I'm <laughs> really sad, but I guess this is a good sign that we kind of found out where it's coming from, which I swear it, it has to be coming from where like the roof connects. Initially, I saw this water droplet and I'm like, okay, what did I spill? But then there's more. It's empty right here because I had albums here, but... And then, like, what the hell? 
and it's coming from this vent. Good thing I kept the protective sleeve on this vinyl, but my Indigo album, oh my God, like it's ruined. I really just want to go organize my pantry because I don't want to be in my office right now. But because I have to work in this space and I start work tomorrow, it needs to be in a better state. I'm just really bummed about my Indigo album. There's bigger issues going on, but I just really love that vinyl and like everything that came with it. You know, it's just a precious thing to me. I have about an hour before the House of Dragon comes on, so I think I'll utilize this time to try to fold my laundry, straighten the space up, throw some trash out that doesn't need to be in here, clean up my shelves a little bit, Looks like there's been a bit of a warp in the shelving of my box on the shelf on the top one nearest the water and right here just kind of lifting. Luckily, I have another shelf that I can replace um, for this one, but I think I'm going to hold off until we kind of figure out what's going on. Thank you. Okay, this one. Good job. 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 Good job.